Okay, in this recording, I'm going to present the open lane installation on uh, code space. Earlier, I made a video, uh, but this is the updated uh, version of that, uh, this tutorial. So if you see here on my uh, GitHub, I just created this uh, repository test one open lane. So you just have to go to this um that is uh, uh this repository so here just uh, i'm creating a, a readme uh in the readme uh these things i have kept uh like anything that you are working on uh, that you can keep here on the readme so just commit changes and then uh, and then you just click on your repository name and then go to this code here this is a small uh, arrow that you see open uh, here uh, this code spaces if you go to the code spaces create code space on main so just click that So now your code space is ready. So here uh, you can check the uh, Docker is required. So I'm just checking whether I mean the Docker version here. So Docker hyphen hyphen version. So this is the Docker version that is existing. So if you want to know what is code space, uh, you can check out on my YouTube uh, uh, playlist code spaces is the playlist name. There I have explained, but the purpose of this video is to uh, uh, present uh, this open end installation and to present one, uh, one design demo. Okay, so to install this one, uh, we have to follow uh, these things here. I'll just show. One lane. Oh, I'm just typing here in the search bar. Open lane installation. So if you type that, this link, if you go here, then there is a link here like. A, for installation, these are, these are the things that we have to follow. So let's follow this one, git. Let's do this git first. Uh, so I'm doing the git here. In this open lane. So once we do this git open lane, It takes a little bit of time. So that's done. Uh, now, what is the next step? We have to go to that drive. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, that uh, that cloned one. This is open lane. So for that, this is the command. So cd that open lane. And then once we are there inside that, we have to type the make. So just type the make. So 
So what it does is it installs all that required, uh, you know, tools related to that open lane. Open lane is a set of tools. All those tools will be installed now along with the PDK. So once that is done, I, I'll pause here uh, because it takes a little bit of time. Recording, I'm pausing. So let's get back. <clears throat> here we have installed this open lane, right? So we just followed this one uh, that is here. I just did, uh, I'll just show, I, I did this like CD open lane and then make edit. So it has done that all installation. So make test if you do, the installation part went successfully or not. So that will be uh, verified. So let's do that, make, make a uh, space test. So this one, uh, before we do that, we're supposed to be like in the open lane because once we are there in the open lane, then we are doing the make and then make test. So we, where we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be in the open lane. So let's go there first. Let's go to the open lane first. CD that open lane. Now you can do that make test. That is make test. So if you do this, uh, what happens is uh, your, t your test will be performed on a design. One design is already uh, there inside at the time of uh, we did the git and then make we have performed. At that time, this SPM uh, one design here, you can see this one. So on that design, we are performing all of these activities like uh, synthesis, floor planning, all that. So if everything is correct, like installation went successful, then it will show up like it, it will run all the uh, steps, all the flow steps. Then it will give here like uh, test passed like that. So once that is done, then we are ready to go with our own designs. So let's wait for that to come here. So you can see here, uh, basic test passed. So it means that installation is su uh, successful now. Uh, so let's do now our experiments. So to do that, uh, let's go to, I mean, uh, to do, here I have kept this re in the readme. Uh, we have to follow these steps. First we have to create our uh, design file. Uh, let's say that the design that we are going to work on is a full adder. So how do we create that? We have to follow this one. So that is dot slash flow dot tkl space hyphen this design, then the design name. Here design name is a full adder. Then space hyphen in it uh, underscore design underscore config then space hyphen add underscore two underscore designs space then hyphen config underscore file then space config dot ticket so this is the first step so let's do that first step uh, here so this is to be done here after doing this activity like you you will be there in the open lane then you do the make mount let's do the make mount first so here what we are going to do, we, are, we have to do make mount. So let's say you are not here, uh, you are some, somewhere like this, like this. So in that case, you have to come to this point here. You have to come to this point. So how do you come to this point? You do the LS, then you will find here this open lane. So the Linux command is change directory and the directory name. So you will come here. So once you are here, then you have to type make mount. So let's type make mount. 
so now we are there inside the docker so once we are there inside the docker then these are applicable so let's do that so here dot then this flow after that this hyphen design then design name so hyphen design design name is here for demo purpose the full adder space and then init design config so hyphen init underscore design underscore config space then what is that you have to do add to designs so hyphen add underscore to underscore designs add to designs and then config file so space hyphen config underscore file space then what is that we have to give here config dot ticket so let's give config dot ticket config dot ticket so now you can see here uh, it is saying that success to the designs fa is added so let's go to there to see that one open this one new terminal this new terminal now we are here that is the test one open lane we're supposed to be going to open lane first so if you do the ls here you do not have that so do the cd first and do the ls that is list to see what are there in this path open lane is here go to the open lane go to the open lane then do the ls again you will see the designs folder here. Go to the designs folder. Now do the LS. Now you will see your FA. This is what we have created just now. So now, now go to that FA. So you are there FA. In FA, what is there here? One is this, uh, I gave uh, incorrect uh, spelling. It's supposed to be the config. So I have got uh, this con you know, con fog, which is incorrect. It's supposed to be config. It is because this one, if you see here, there, here, I get incorrect spelling. That's why it has come like that. Okay, we will correct that. That is one thing. The other is this uh, SRC. So if you open this uh, config, uh, uh, file you have all these uh, things which uh, like we'll we'll see that one shortly so to come out of this you have to press escape then shift colon then uh, w the uh, q q and then enter so let's rename first uh, the this one this file so to rename uh, more this uh, config to config dot tcl. So that is how we are going to rename it. So now you can see it got uh, like change it to from config to config. And then if you go to the SRC folder, that is a src folder you will not see anything inside because there where we have to create there where we have to create the verilog file so let's go create the verilog file first there so to create verilog file what we can do is if you know the editor like how to operate this vi editor that is good if you do not know how to operate the log uh, i mean vi editor then what i recommend is you just go here you create a file here new file type here just fa.v so this will be coming here then start typing here module fa then uh, you have a comma b comma c in and then some comma co 
and then this n module will be there at the end of this description here you have input a comma b comma c in semicolon output output sum comma c o and then here assign sum equal to a xor b xor c in semicolon assign c o equal to here uh, that logic of the carry out so that is a ampersand b and uh, a ampersand c in and then b ampersand c in so <laughs> that's the uh, uh, logic so we have done this one <laughs> but this one <laughs> somehow you have to get uh, here like uh, in this path how to get this one here so now if you right click here open integrated uh, terminal now you see the path here this is print working directory this is the path so in this path that file is there so let's copy this path so copy it now go to here type here cp copy paste paste that path in that path we have this fa dot v that is in the current directory dot slash is the current directory so if you do now if you see the ls that file is available here if you do not practice i mean if you don't go this way then you sh you should be knowing in the vi editor vi editor is just like a text editor how to operate how to use vi editor if you know straight away here itself you can use this vi editor i mean the file name like uh, suppose say if you are creating ha.v so like this here you have to type it is it is not straightforward like that way text editor is some something some commands will be there here if you know if you're familiar with those commands then use straight away this editor otherwise earlier how i had shown going here creating this file and then editing and then copying from here to that location that you have to do okay so let's quit this one now if you see here we have only this affair dot we save right here in this path now we also have to edit this uh, config dot tickle here to edit that uh, so what we have to do is uh, you have to edit from here that is uh, one step come back and do the ls you have here config so to edit here you have to use vi only vi editor do not want to use vi editor then what is that you have to do is uh, here let's say your open uh, folder is here to go here open folder this one so let's click that uh, open folder and uh, go to this code spaces just a minute i'm just checking out here User. user local mm 
just a minute now. Let me come here first. Um, EWT. The path is here uh, slash home. So to go to the slash home somehow. So to go to the slash home. folder <coughs> slash home slash home inside home we have code spaces inside code spaces we have here open lane inside open lane I have designs inside designs I have this FA Inside of a, uh, yeah, this this point I have to go. Now, if I go here, if I go here, I can see this config dot ticket. So this one, I can edit now. What is to be edited here? We, we don't have this uh, clock uh, here in our design because if you see our design, our design is purely combinational, which is not having the clock. So these are not required basically. These are not required. In the addition, additional point is here, we have to set this clock tree synthesis variable. Uh, just a minute, that is in the readme. Okay, here in the test room here. Mm. What was that I'm saying? I had, we had to set that variable. <laughs> so that variable here, like, we don't want to perform the clock tree synthesis because that's not having the... So we go to the variables here, click that variables. In that, go to the CTS related variables, clock tree synthesis related variables. So here, this is floor planning. Likely after this, this is global placement. So this we want to disable. So here set <coughs> colon colon E and V. Inside that, that variable name. And this variable, we want to set it to zero because if that is one, it means it is tool is going to perform clock tree synthesis. We don't want to perform clock tree synthesis. So we have setting it to zero. And rest of the things are same. Do not alter them. So now this is done. So we have to go, uh, I mean, let's go to open. Okay, uh, you be here. So once this is done, so what is required to be done is we have to follow these things. Like this is done. This part is done now. We edited the config file according to our requirements and we also developed the verilog file. So now we are going for the interactive so let's do that so to do this one we're supposed to be here this this is like we, are, we we must be inside the container so if you see here we are not inside the container so let me um, go inside the container so i just exit first from here and uh, i will open mm -hmm. 
Here is the terminal, new terminal. So if you see this new terminal, go to customs back. And here in the open lane, you type make mount. So if you do make mount, this way of, uh, I mean, something like this number, if you're seeing, you're there inside the uh, container. So now you can work. So to work here, uh, what is required is, this one is required. So just type, press enter. After this, what is required is, uh, this you have done. Now, this one is required, package, this one. So go here, do this package require open lane. So this will give this number that is required. Now, which design that we want to perform. So for that, these are the commands prep, design, all that. So let's do that. Prep, hyphen, design. Which design that we want to prepare for the uh, synthesis, all that uh, flow, FA design. And then the tag that we want to give is all, it is going to create folders. Uh, I mean, one folder, time uh, tagged folder but we want to tag our own. So we are going to create hyphen tag run one. So, and then press enter. So it has done that, uh, like preparing for that. Those are the warnings you can ignore. Now you can perform this run synthesis. So let's do that run. Uh, run underscore synthesis. So if you do run synthesis, oh, invalid, uh, like I did not type it correctly. Run synthesis. So it is performing the synthesis. Now, if you see here, uh, there is some Mistake here. Mm. Some error, syntax error, line number six. Let's see that. Line number six, assign C O. Oh, here I did not put the offer, uh, or operator. So let's put our operator here. Okay. Now, uh, again, let us do this one. And then run synthesis. Oh, before run synthesis, there's some prep. So prep, I find design, and then FA, and then tag. And I gave the run one. If it had been created, I don't want to overwrite. So, so you have to use this flag for overwrite. Overwrite. So press enter. So this time it is not giving any errors. That is correct. Synthesis uh, done. So now you can see here run folder has come. Inside this run folder, uh, there are several uh, run one is there. Inside this run one only all of these things are there. So if you go to the results section, you will see all of these folders like synthesis, float one placement. Go to the synthesis. Uh, since we have performed synthesis, we must be able to see the synthesis here because no, this is we prepared. Uh, so we did not do the synthesis yet. So let's do the synthesis. That's why here nothing is there inside. 
So if you perform the synthesis, run underscore synthesis, be careful about the spellings. This is run synthesis. Then you will have some folders here. So now this is, uh, this went uh, correct. So now you can see here, this like netlist being generated here. You see, this is your netlist. All right. So this netlist is uh, uh, standard cells you can see here. These are the standard cells. These mm -hmm. are the instantiation names here. Okay. Now, after the synthesis, uh, now if you see here, this run floor plan. So now copy this, go here, do the floor plan, press enter. So this one, now if you see here, this has given error because the design uh, is small design uh, for which uh, the pitch required is too small. For that, this needs to be fixed it means uh, we have to deal with this core utilization factor and the target density. All this information you can explore from this variable section, what they mean. You must have some idea about the VLS of physical design. Then you can play with this. Now for now, I'm just copying from here and I go to this section uh, where I was working here. So in this, in the configuration, I have to put this one here. After this, uh, OCTS also you can put, or after CTS also you can put. So, but since floor plan comes before that, it is better to keep before that here. Okay, so you have to rerun everything again. So if you rerun everything, uh, that is, dot flow then interactive uh, then uh, all these things you have to do do again like uh, interactive done this package require open lane that you have to do it is that here And then after that, you have to type uh, which design that you're preparing for synthesis, design, prep design, that is FA. And the tag here is uh, run one. We had to override because previously few things were created. So we're just as a, as a fresh kind of thing, we're overwriting all that. After that, run synthesis. Run synthesis. And then run floor plan. So now you will not see any errors here. All right. So rest of the things you can follow. Uh, I mean, till this point, I just wanted to update this video uh, because in the previous video, I was uh, using the Docker installation as well. But now in the current, this updated one, Docker installation is not required. Docker is already existing. So you only have to uh, follow the rest of the things. The rest of the things I already had covered. In this uh, updated demo also, I just presented this too. Okay. Remaining things you can do and remaining like all that uh, I have covered uh, will be valid you know, from the previous uh, tutorial, whatever I have covered, all those things will be uh, valid. Only this uh, Docker installation is not required. So that I have updated in this tutorial. Okay, so hope uh, to the curious minds, this is going to help. Now from here to go back there, 
you can go back from here file open folder so here if you go to the code spaces uh and go to this code spaces otherwise uh, uh you do one thing here you just go to your uh, github uh where you have that code spaces running you will see your code space running here if you go to code spaces here uh or code spaces go to code spaces so you will see here run in this test one code space is running here active so just go and uh, stop code spaces so now you can i mean this will be closed you can reopen from here you can open from here so it will open again like uh, it will go to the place where it was earlier so this path if you remember then we can come back uh, without like stopping the code space if you are remembering this path that, like uh, just um, No, we are not here. So what I'll do is I'll just close everything. Close folder I'll do. I'm just closing. I'll do one thing just a minute. Huh? I'll close from here. Stop. I'll, I'll refresh this thing. And uh, stop for space. Go to the repositories. Here your repositories. Um, Test one, open this test one. Go here, code and uh, code spaces, this one. Oh, okay. See, here it is, uh, workspaces. So let's go to the file, open folder, or open workspace from file. Let's open folder, and uh, let's go to the slash, not home this time. It is workspaces. Workspaces and this test link. Yeah, this was the default like earlier where we were. So here we were. Workspace test open in. All right. So now we are back here. 
so from here what we have done we went to doing cvd through the terminal we went uh, till here like this open layer so here inside open lane we have the designs folder we went to designs folder inside designs folder we have this fa so inside of fa we have this all this src config all right all right so uh why what what is that uh, i'm trying to say is here if you see here this is the test open lane that we are seeing is this uh, uh, repository name it is but how, how how do we get these things here here so to get these things here in the explorer so the way is go here go to file open folder here slash home slash home okay. and then slash here you have the code space the code space you have open lane. so that's how you reach in the terminal what we had seen is seen now here in the explorer so this is for ease of working only with little bit of practice you will understand everything uh, but uh, Okay, so that's how we went till this point. And our intention is not to reach to this open lane. Our intention was to go till that uh, designs folder so that we can edit the files without VI editor. So open folder, code space, then open lane. Let's put the open lane also. It's open lane. Inside open lane designs, inside designs, any design that you might have created. In our case, we have created FA. So we went to FA and then we clicked on OK. So now what you can see here is only that part you can see without any uh, having here several files. In. So only limited files that you see. So you edit whatever the files that you need, like in the source folder, we need to create one very log file we created for edit for editing purpose we came here till this point and uh, for visibility i mean if, if you want to see them like them also you can see them here like results all that but if you want to go back from here to where you originally like there here so for that go to this go to like a uh, file open folder here that was workspaces slash workspaces in the workspaces it will be showing up this hidden i mean some other things here notice where your repository name is go to that repository and just click ok so now you will see here in the explorer your repository related all right and the other things like uh, seeing the uh, what we call schematic and all how to see in earlier videos whatever i have covered those tutorials still valid valid only in this updated tutorial uh, docker installation is not required without dot a docker installation and without sudo usage how we can use the open link so that's the update here. Okay, then. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you can post them in comment section. Thanks.